So this is a scene from Inside the Well in Davis. And um, yeah, so Mo's uh, staying at her place and has just come in from being cold outside trying to find a, a cat. You guys ready? I'm gonna turn off my camera. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Ready? Take a moment, think a little bit about what's happened and where you're coming from. What's going on with you? You know, Lauren, you were sleeping and now you hear him come in. It's like, oh crap. And you're freezing. And here we go. And also, Mo, you, you can't find the cat. So that's probably in the back of your brain too. Like, oh gosh, where is it? Action. Thanks for keeping quiet, asshole. It's freezing. Can, can we talk? Here, fuck you. Well, I have to. Wait, I'm sorry. Which out or fuck you? Let's let's go out. Can can I borrow James' coat? You. So, is it mine? I don't know. You don't know if it's mine. No, how would I know? So it could be Jim's. Yes, asshole. But, but you don't want it either way, to, to, be, to be clear. To be clear, asshole, you fucking asshole. I want very much to have to pitch Jim's. That's what I want. But since I don't know, you not only fucked things up for me by fucking me and making <laughs> But even if it's not Jim's, I can't know that. So I might have to get rid of what could be a perfectly fine baby. A baby I want. Because everything you touch turns to shit. You're like King Midas's idiot brother. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> you know a doctor, right? Yeah. From one, whatever, Diane. Yeah, yeah. And you'll pay for it? Yeah. Don't tell Jim, obviously. I should have made you wear double condoms. Well, we shouldn't have done it in the first place, but if you ever do it again, which is a favorite of women everywhere, you should not. <laughs> you should be wearing condom on condom and then wrap it in electrical tape. You should walk around always inside a great big condom because you are shit. Okay. You should not be in contact with any living, breathing thing being shit. You know, the, ex the only expression, uh, it takes two to tango. Fuck you. I could say we should talk about this when, when you're just angry, but that would be... That would be, man, what would that be? Fuck you. <laughs> I miss Mike. Um, could I ask you for a favor? You're joking. It's not for me, it's for the Gorfins. Their cat got out. Could you leave the fire escape window open? It's winter. Yeah, yeah, but just enough. Just enough for the cat to squeeze back in. It could come back. Come back to our apartment. Mm. Yeah. It was there like six hours. Why would it come back there? I, I, I don't know. It's, it's, I, I'm not a fucking cat, okay? Think about it. I lost their fucking cat. I feel bad about it. That's what you feel bad about. Yeah. <laughs> See? Yeah. Okay. You're done. It was awesome. Yay. It was fantastic. I loved it. I loved it, you guys. That was so funny. I was just laughing a lot. There were so Thank many you. things that were funny. And um, yeah, I think you guys should find another scene. It's just, it's just there's something so funny about both of you when you suffer. Both of you. Like, first of all, Mo, I always laugh when you come in because you look like you have to pee. 
you know, and like a little boy and you're like bouncing up and down and you looks and, and, and you look like you're in so much pain also because you're cold. Just the combination of it all is hysterical to watch and you're like bouncing up and down. Um, and some of your reactions to him, Lauren, were so much more honest. Okay. So there were, it was so, I don't know, you, it's so clear that you worked on making sure that you, you know, I don't know if you understood what he said so that you, that you could react to it, you know, or getting clarity on what's going on with you when he's saying his lines that you could react to it, or maybe just being present. What, what was it that you did different? Cause uh, there was one moment that really made me laugh when he goes, um, well, okay. Don't you have a line where you go, well, okay, Mo? Yeah. After her, after her, her first rant, I go like, well, okay, I see. Okay. Okay, so that is hysterical to me, A, because Mo, like, just just the fact that she screams and it doesn't engage you, you like, you just mm -hmm. kind of, like, dodge, you know, and just be nice back. That is really funny to me. And then watching you, Lauren, react to that was really, really that was a great pie landing on your face. Thank you. So what was it that you did? Uh. It was it was two two big things that helped me. Um, have you ever seen the movie Five Easy Pieces? What is it called? Five Easy Pieces. It has um uh, I don't remember. I might mean, have it sounds familiar, but I'm not sure. But um I was watching it. Um I watched it, I rewatched it this week, and it has my favorite, favorite actress in it, Karen Black. And there is a scene where her and Jack Nicholson pick up two hitchhikers and she's not really talking at all during the scene. You can always tell in her eyes that there's something going on and she's thinking and she's thinking, oh, you know, the, my boyfriend or, oh, the hitchhikers in the back of the car. And it's just, I, I really liked that. And then I tried to kind of think as the character and think, what is she thinking right now? And then also with the... Um, Oh, with Mo, uh, you know, he's playing a character that I, I see myself as kind of in love with, but I also hate him. So then, you know, it's like personal experience thinking of, you know, someone you love, that you care deeply for, but they really piss you off, like, you yeah. know, something, uh, something like that. And how does that make you feel? Being like, it almost makes it worse than just someone you flat out hate. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, but. it does. Uh, and I think that this concept of flushing out What's going on with you while Mo is talking? If that's what you did, that is, that is a huge thing. In addition to everything that you said, or you know, sort of add to, to that. So yeah, uh, it, it's clear that you worked on it. So it's it, and, it, and it was it was great. Mo, also on your end, you know, you you had this really fun ability, Mo, um, to just get lost in a scene. I think that's one of my favorite things about about your acting is um, your ability to stay in the scene. Like that was actually, go, ahead. go ahead, Brett. No, go for it. I, I was gonna say it's funny, and I but that's well, that's kind of by design, Brad. I I similar to what Lauren did actually the same process, except I mine was seeing another Spencer Tracy movie, and that's all he does too. What's that? So I just I just huh? What's that that he does that you're talking about? Well, well, but that's, that's the thing. He doesn't do anything. He just yeah. he just kind of he just kind of reacts purely off like. What's, what's happening it's like he, the truth of, of the situation is happening mm -hmm. as he's speaking it so i just kind of i saw another one of his movies along with applying the notes that that you gave me of course i spent a lot of hours you know asking myself those questions uh from the like that i should have asked before and along with the movie it kind of it really helped uh just like be in the scene like, it's like, yeah. exactly as you said, like the fact that you're just saying what you're saying, it's proof that I'm kind of picking that up. It's totally working for both of you, whatever you work, whatever you're doing, it's working. Mm -hmm. So yeah. uh, I think there was one moment that she screamed at you and Mo, you just kind of took it in and then you kind of like walked backwards or bounced backwards, whatever you're doing. And you were just like, well, okay. You know, it was very honest. You know, it didn't feel like you were acting and it felt like you were being nice and just very truthful. So yeah. um, I don't have anything else to say other than great job. I love I, I just it's fun to see both of you continue to grow and just know that when, you know, when I'm talking to you guys about working hard, it, it's paying off.
Mm -hmm. Okay, so for, for those people who wonder if the work pays off, it does. And just know that when you do the work, there's the reward. And when you don't do the work, you don't get this. Okay, you just don't. You don't. It's like going to the gym. Just keep remembering. So you guys are working out really hard and going to the gym. So, <laughs> so that when you, yeah, yeah. So, when, you know, when these auditions come in, you are on your game. That is the plan. So, and uh, great work. Find something new. Brad, there, there's actually a, there's actually another scene with these two characters. Oh, really? At a later point in time. That uh, sounds perfect. I'd love to see it. Cool. I, I mean, if you're okay with that, Lauren. No, that sounds great. <laughs> um, I mean, if, if you're okay with it, but I, if you, if you guys are okay with it, that sounds like a great plan, mainly uh, because these two roles are so good for both of you. And to continue to develop your casting and this type of a character is always a good thing, A. And B, you know, you, you might want to um, have, uh, you know, I don't know if you did it today, but sometimes I encourage you guys to have your phone set up and record yourself when we're doing our scene because it can be a sample clip you can post on Actors Access because the quality of your cell phone footage, and it's just going to be on you, by the way, rather than the webcam that we're using for class is gonna be far superior uh, than yeah, your phone. Just have it set up like you're doing a self tape for class. I have students who you know have it, they do that for every class. You know, they have it on their tripod and when they do their scene, they just, they just hit record and you know, it's a possible clip. So this is a kind of scene that you guys just did um, that you would, I would say it would be really great to have a little clip on your reel and we recorded it too. So there you go. So we have it. Thank you. All right, you guys. Thanks. Good job.